Building collapse in Alston. Two people hurt when the facade of a popular restaurant comes crashing down to the ground. This happened in the middle of the day on busy Harvard Ave, and one of the people caught in the collapse was badly hurt. I'm David Wade. I'm Lisa Hughes. Investigators are trying to find out now why this happened. WBZ's Bill Shields has our story in Alston. In the rubble, you can see some of the clothing of the two victims. Two pedestrians walking on Harvard Street were seriously injured yesterday when the concrete facade of a building collapsed, sending bricks and concrete crashing to the sidewalk. Jonathan Aguirre ran to help the victims, lifting concrete off of one of them. When we f f finally got the concrete out of her, her friend started doing CPR, but she was already really badly bruised. Building inspectors believe weather may have been a factor. On the surface, our, our first inspection is exactly that. You know, um, masonry construction between freeze-thaw cycles that go through the building, they do, you know, wear out. Several small businesses occupied the building. No one there was hurt. City officials say the one-story building was built around 1950. And one local businessman who owns buildings in the state also points to our weather as a prime culprit. We have such variable weather here. Anytime water can get inside anything, you don't know where it is, you don't know how long it's been there. Eats away the mortar and cement. Eats away the mortar. So I think, you know, you look at any of these buildings along here and who knows what could happen. Harvard Street in Alston is a busy place, but few people we talked to were concerned about this happening again. No, not at all. I'm, I'm sure they'll figure out, you know, like they'll fix it up, I'm mm -hmm. sure. It's but not a big deal. The fact that you live around here doesn't does it scare me? No. I'm Good. sure it'll be fine. Well, he may not remember about a year ago, just about a half a mile from here on Harvard Street, there was that Chinese restaurant, that a similar incident there where the facade collapsed, but no one was hurt there. This time, those two victims are still hospitalized in serious condition. Reporting live from Alston, I'm Bill Shields, WVZ News.